Hello everyone! For today's video we will need bucket of ghosts, water wreath form from dollar store which I have sprayed white, glue gun and this item is optional fairy lights okay it's best if you use the clear ones but I can't find them every single light I find is green so I'll just use these okay let's get started okay if you decide to use the fairy lights okay and your box is black or even if the clear one batters you that you see it take a piece of cheesecloth okay just cut off a strip put it over the black box or a box make sure your controls are not covered though okay so do that now tuck it in kind of fits in actually in between these two wires and fasten it with the zap strap hold on let me do that a couple of them actually would be good but it's probably better if you do it in the back so you don't see okay so you don't see the zap strap so I might have to fix that one okay yeah do it like this in the back of it don't pull it super tight so it doesn't crack and make sure your controls are not obstructed okay it might work it works okay okay now you need to decide if you want the box on top or on the bottom okay I will put mine it's easier no I will put mine on top I'll leave it on top but you can put it on the bottom and put the controls over here so you can just turn it on and off easily but this will work for me so now take the fa fairy lights if you are using them actually I might paint this white maybe probably not and I should have okay now this is where the lights start let's just wrap it around the form okay like so you can put more strands or you cannot use them at all like I said this is optional Okay, wrap it all around and then we go to the ghostly stuff. Okay, now dump your bucket of ghosts on the table and let's start gluing. Oh, by the way, the wires, what were exposed there, I just covered with a piece of, uh, what's it called, cheesecloth. You know, the scrap we had. And now let's just take some little ghosties and start gluing. Little double glue. Oh, that's a big double glue. And let's just start gluing. Oh my god, that is going to be so cute. Now, just to make it clear, I am not sponsored by Home Depot, but this small bucket makes an awesome stand and it helps me to glue the ghost on. So you can use whatever bucket you want, okay? Just on a small size. Okay, so I'm gonna glue the ghost on, on at random, like because I want it like messy all over the place. But if you want it like uniform, I suggest you start on the outer edge and work it in. Okay, so you have a like nice circle ghost. But my ghosts are going to be messy, and I'm gluing it on the wire, not on my fairy lights. And you can tuck it in, right? You can just tuck some of that cheesecloth in. And it's alright if you have gaps. This is not going to be... We're not going for perfection here. I think I want this guy. Do I want him like that? Oh yeah, I want him like that. See? I'll just put a little blop right there. And glue him in there. Okay? So I'll fill it up and then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, and I'm done with the ghosts. I used 52 ghosts. That's why we need a bucket of ghosts. Now, if you bat it by these gaps in between, all you have to do is take your cheesecloth scraps, okay? Or if you don't have scraps, just cut some random strips, pull them apart like webby, like, you know, 
so they're stringy and poofy and just tuck them in you don't even have to glue it you might you need a pencil or something tuck it in and that will fill those gaps like there's a wire down here right you see that right there that kind of bothers me a little so pull that apart and I'll just tuck it in get it just off its face see what I mean you can fill those holes if you need to glue it glue it but I don't need to glue it okay now let me finish that and then we'll have a look if we can see the lights glow okay if you want to hang your uh, wreath you probably want to I just put a zap strap under these two zap straps okay and created a loop or you could put a piece of wire or whatever you want okay I think this is the easiest so that's what I did now let's hang them and here we go it's all finished and lit up now my lights have several settings this one is the fading one and looks pretty neat now let me take it somewhere where you can see what it looks like alright this is it for today so thank you for watching and until next time have fun creating